Wildcats. Welcome to Wildcat Legends. We have a whole plethora of stories for you this week. I'm Dallas. And I'm Brady. Let's get into it. Hey Wildcats, today we're interviewing Kaylee and we're going to ask her a little bit about how basketball is going. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, we had our first official game this past Friday in Princeton. We got off to a rough start and didn't pull out the win, but we're hoping to take uh, the film and what we learned from this game and fully apply it to practice today and tomorrow. And we get back out and play Forney at home on Tuesday at around 6.15. So please come out and watch that. We would love your support and encouragement. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. Right? Yes. Is there anyone, like, new to the team that you're particularly, like, you think they're going to do really well? Well, it's actually really cool. We have a, a pretty well-rounded group of girls who are returning to the program, but we're moving people up from JV, so we have a whole new chemistry we need to develop with our team. Um, but we're all really good friends and we're excited to get together and to get rolling in knowing each other and knowing how we play together. So how do you think you're going to do like the rest of the year just given by uh, like performance last game and like <laughs> training and stuff? Well I'm really excited. I think that we can go just as far as we went last year. I think we have a pretty good shot at the playoffs. I think we'll finish really well in our district too. I'm excited for what we, for what we can accomplish this year. Hi Wildcats, we're here with Lewis and we're going to ask him a couple of questions about what he has going on in band. So what exactly are you uh, doing? Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to be trying out for the all region band. That's, that's uh, typically like a bunch of students get together and it's, it's not just from Reigns, it's mm -hmm. from like all over the, the like region. Like everybody in the region, yeah. Yeah. We get together at, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know if it's a specific school, but we all get to one school and we play for judges, we play uh, an etude, an etude is just like a song. We play a slow etude and a fast etude to judges and they pick either two or three scales along with the chromatic scale to play. And then uh, if we make it, we make the all-region band. So how many students are typically involved in the uh, all-region? Man, like the band itself is so many people. Like I think th the band is actually composed of just whoever ends up making it. I don't know if there is a specific like end cap to how many uh, players there can be in the band, but I think there's a few. Like there, there's quite a like compared to our band, it would be huge because it's from everywhere. So are you the only one, or how many people in our band are going to this all region thing? Um, from our specific band, we people that are trying out, it's basically just op up in the air. You know, okay. it's whoever wants to and feels like they're oh, good okay. because we already have the, you know, the scale. The scales is your scales. Like, it's pretty easy to, to practice and get over. Uh, as, as far as, like, the songs, um, you know, it's, it's just practice. It, it, it is what it is, and if they feel comfortable, then they're going to okay. be going for it. I, so, I think a good estimate of people that are going around, like, I would say, like, 10. Okay. So it's more like a volunteer thing instead yeah. of a selection. Yeah. I mean, our Mr. Curry, our, our band director, he, he gives like a strong suggestion like, hey, buddy, you should really, really go yeah. for it. And, you know, from there we'll, you know, they, they try it out. And if they don't make it, they don't make it. If they do, then go off to the, the all-region band. All right. Are you excited? Uh, yeah, yeah. I never actually made it before because I never really, <laughs> like, uh, it was just, it was it's such a prestige, like, mm -hmm. thing with the all-region band. But, um... Yeah, I, I'm really confident that, that this time around I'll, I'll for sure make it and yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get, get the origin. Hey Wildcats, today we're also interviewing Leslie who is going to be telling us a little bit about what's happening in FFA. So tell us a little bit about that. Alright, well this Tuesday we're going to have a Friendsgiving meeting here in the Ag Shop. It's just a time where we can all come together and have some fun, talk about what we're thankful for. Wednesday, I will be competing in a district LDE competition. Last competition, I placed second and got a banner. So I'm really excited to go back and get another one. And then Friday is our trailer build off. We'll, we will be out in the parking lot from 7 a.m. until the afternoon. We're excited to be out there. So is there any particular theme for like the trailer build off? Not really. Or is really. it just what, whatever you want to build? Whatever, just a trailer. It has to be a trailer. So, are you like excited for anything like the um, Friendsgiving? Like, 
I am beyond excited. I'm ready to see how many people show up and how united we can become that night. Hey Wildcats and it's Alexis and I am here today to talk about powerlifting with Miss Braley. Now both of us have been in it since we were freshmen so we know a little bit about it but today we're going to be mainly focusing on her side. So what is something that you are excited for powerlifting this year? I'm actually excited to actually get back into it because I haven't been in it for a year and it's kind of sucked. How come you stopped? Um, I injured my neck and my back. A disc popped out in my neck and my back, my spine is turning so I couldn't really they wouldn't clear me to go do what I like. Um, when you were in powerlifting for the first two years, because I know you were in it your sophomore year a little bit there, what was kind of like, what was the energy just for practices? Practices were mainly pretty chill, but you just had to get like in a zone to actually do what you had to do. And for those who don't know what powerlifting is, could you tell us a little bit what powerlifting would be? It's basically like weightlifting. Um, yeah, just a little thing. <laughs> and like you do bench, squat, and deadlift. Squat goes first, and you just have to like max out and do your best and hope for the best. All right, Wildcats, we're here with Anthony, and we're going to ask him a couple questions about the upcoming powerlifting season. So, uh, how do you feel about the upcoming powerlifting season? Uh, you know, it's always exciting whenever it gets to this time of uh, this time of the year, and you know. It gets cold out, you know, we want to wear our sweats, you know, we want to hide what, what we're building underneath and uh, just get ready for this year's powerlifting uh, season and hopefully it's going to be great and we're just uh, wishing the best for it so far. We have a lot of potential in our team uh, teammates right now. Mm -hmm. We have a, um, just a lot of people that we think are going to do pretty good this year. So what exactly is your favorite lift to do? So my favorite lift is actually the squat, which mm -hmm. most people, you know, don't even ask about the squat. They ask, how much can you bench? How much yeah. can you bench? But uh, I just like the fight that you have to um, do for squat. You know, it's not something that you can just hop in, do, and be great at. It's something you really have to work for. Mm -hmm. And that's just one of my passions is on squat. It makes you feel very proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most point. definitely, whenever you put that weight above your back and, you know, it feels like the whole world's trying to push you down, it's, it's just something that I love. So we got a new coach this year, Coach Turney for the powerlifting. Yeah, How yes, do you, sir. What do you think about Coach Turney? So Coach Turney, um, at first, you know, before I got to know him and everything, I was a little uh, spectac uh, spectacle about it and everything. You know, I was like a new coach. I don't know how this is going to work out. You know, does he know what he's doing? Does he know what's going on and everything? And so I talked to him about it and all, and um, he's actually, you know, brought some people to stay. He, he knows what he's talking about, the lifts that he's talking about, the workouts. It sounds like everything is there. He has a good plan for us. So, you know, I really believe that Coach Turney can take us far into powerlifting and hopefully, you know, we can get some people out in the state this year. That's very good. How do you, do you feel like you can make it to state? Uh, I mean, it's going to be a fight and a struggle for sure. There's a lot of strong competitors out there, but I mean, there's always a chance that that, that could happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was the interview with Anthony. Good luck. Thank you guys for watching this week's episode of Wildcat Legends. Um, I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving next week. And make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.